motherfucker. Ass fatter than a mom. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a cut crease tutorial for you all. This is my first time doing a cut crease, so bear with me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try it out. So I'm just going to be taking this shade Morocco from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Travelers palette. And I'm going to be blending that in my crease. This is going to serve as my transition shade and just make sure that my um, crease is prepared for the cut crease that I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I'm just going to be blending that out and blending and blending and blending. What I um, did was I made sure I took it out to the outer corners as well because I wanted my eye look to be more dramatic. Like cut creases are very dramatic, so that's what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to be taking um, Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to be applying that to primarily the outer corner of my eyelid and just blending that together with the transition shade that I put on prior to this shade color. And I'm just going to be blending that out. Again, focusing primarily on the outer corners because I want it to be exaggerated and make sure that it actually looks like a cut crease when I go to do the cut crease. Okay, so for my cut crease to sculpt it out, I'm going to be using like this paint pot from um, NYX, I believe. It's called Ain't That Sweet. And it's just something I picked up from the drugstore, but I I feel like it, it has that creamy, that creamy texture that's good for making the cut crease because it will be easier for me to actually sculpt it out. As you can see, like I'm doing right now, I'm actually sculpting out the cut crease and making sure that it's even the biggest thing with this that was hard for me was trying to make sure that it lined up with the other eye so yeah that was pretty difficult but I don't know I got through it <laughs> just wanted to make sure they was even I didn't want to be looking lopsided Still sculpting out the cut crease. I just wanted to make sure that it lined up with the other eye. That was like the biggest thing and why it took so long to do it was because I wanted to make sure it was even. Like making sure it was even was like hard for me. But you can see I'm like looking during a comparison with the other eye. Just trying to make sure that it looks semi okay. Next I'm taking this BH Cosmetics shade. It's from the Foil Eyes palette. And just going over um, the shade I previously put down. Just to add a little bit more sparkle, shimmer, and New Year's Eve festivity, festive, yeah, festivity to the eye look. And I just want to let you guys know, also, I already have my foundation routine completely done. So, contour, highlight is already done. I'm going in now with the same brush I used previously and just blending out the shades and making sure that it looks good and making sure that it didn't disappear and vanish while I put the other shade on. I just wanted to primarily have this tutorial focus on the eyes. And I didn't want to have anything else because I knew it would be super long because it took me a while to do this. So everything else is done, but 
just the eyes are the main focus. Next, I'm just going to follow my um, eyeliner. I'm just doing a simple wing. The top, the tape is used. I'm using the tape as a guide, and it's helping me. And I'm also putting it a little bit in my tear duct just to you know add a little bit more. Now onto the lips. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner and Court K, and then just lining my lips with that. Next, I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Vamp It Up just to go over that lip liner to make it a little bit more pigmented and purplish. Now I'm going over with the Kylie um, Matte Lipstick in Corque as well and just using that to mattify the look and just to add a little bit more pigment. And that completes the look. I hope you guys all enjoyed my cut crease. It came out pretty good for my first time, I think. Um, what do you guys think? Leave in the comments below what you guys think I did and how you think I did. So yeah, that is the finished result. It is pretty cute. I like the dark lip and everything is very New Year's Eve to me. So, very festive and very dramatic and exaggerated. Alright, and this is just a glimpse of my outfit real quick. Um, it's just this black dress that I showed you guys in my haul video. It's from Naked Wardrobe. The choker's from Windsor and the bag is thrifted. I just thought you guys would like to see what I plan on wearing for New Year's. It's really cute, really sexy. Very sexy. <laughs> and yeah, it goes really well with the makeup look that I just did and everything. This is my first jacket I plan to wear as well. This is from Forever 21. Really nice addition to the outfit. Very New Year's, very festive, very extra, very glam look that I think I put together. And the shoes are from also from my collective haul. They are from Ego Official. If you guys have not saw that video, please watch it. It be a link down in the description bar. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and have a safe and happy New Year's. Bye.